I'm going to give you 10 seconds to get up and get out of bed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you're up and you're now ready to get after it, you can go ahead and shut this off. You won. If you are still actually lying in bed, then I can't stop right now. You have to keep listening. I need to tell you about the mistake that you are making. Every morning, we have a battle. We have to beat the alarm clock. Or you're gonna get up and actually do something. You will feel weak. You're gonna feel like a loser. All you had to do was get up, get out of bed. Instead, you stayed in that warm bed and squandered the opportunity. The other people were hustling that day, the other people who grinded, who didn't lie in. Get out of bed, go splash some water on your face. So let's go now, get up, and get after it. Everyone has a problem with time, but the day is 24 hours, and we sleep six. Now, I know there's some out there that say, whoa, 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 I need eight. But I say, just sleep a little faster, because the bottom line is we have six hours of sleep, 24 hours are available, so if 18 hours now available, do your work, your family, your hobbies, and also to learn something new. Don't give me this thing, I have a difficult time with the time and I don't have time for this and I don't have that. You have time, you make the time. Like you're literally gonna live four more lives, five more, like from the day you were born that you cannot remember. To write this second, you're about to do that three to four more times. Your biggest advantage is timing. For all the great things that I have in my life, I would literally give it up all of it, all of it, just to be 25. I would give up for 17 years, I'd give up everything I have, because that's how valuable time is. And the far majority of this room has time, time as their asset, and every day, the number one asset they have, time, they give away by being impatient, mainly on the back of listening to society or their parents that they have to have their shit figured out at this age. The fact that people actually think at 18, 22, or 30, you have to have your shit figured out is fucking ridiculous. Let me promise you, all those parents and uncles and grandparents that push down your throat that you have to figure it out by now, they still haven't figured it the fuck out. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, by, the def by your own definitions, right, within the value structure that you've created to the degree that you've done that, what would you be like? I wish I had not waited 14 years. Somebody said, if you want to lose something, lose money. You can get that back. Eight out of 10 millionaires have been financially bankrupt. Walt Disney filed bankruptcy seven times and had two nervous breakdowns. But don't lose time. There were 14 years I sat on the sideline. 14 years I said, I don't have an investor in me like Tony Robbins. 14 years that said, I don't have an MBA or a PhD and, and I can't compete with these guys. I have the complexion of rejection. 14 years, I silenced myself. Wow. And so I regret that because there are some people that maybe if they'd heard my voice, they would not have turned to drugs. If they'd heard my voice, their lives would have taken a different direction and I can't get those 14 years back that haunts me and may I think that drives me when I speak with such energy I'm, I'm trying to make up for that time mm. but I can't when you wake up and talk about making your bed make your bed 
Make sure your house is clean. Make sure you get your breakfast. Make sure you shower, shave. Whatever you're doing, control that. Don't hit the snooze button. All these things are very important. That's been told a lot of times. Why don't you hit the snooze button? Because you wake up already failing. You're already behind the power curve. So what happens when you hit the snooze button? You may not make your bed. You may not do your hair the way you want it. You may not pick the right clothes out in the morning time. And I go back to this real quick. Remember how you had a job interview for a job? We've had several of them in our lives. What did you do the night before that job, weeks before the job interview? We knew you had it. You prepared your, you know, you had a bowl out for your oatmeal, your cereal, whatever you had in the morning time. Your coffee cup was out. Your clothes were laid out. You brought your best self. You're going to war with yourself because you wanted that interviewer to see your best self. You won. You got the job. After a few months in that job, you look around. You got the job. Start to back off. The clothes aren't out. You're not ready. You're hitting the snooze button. You don't get up on time anymore. You realize that you can still have this job and not be your best self. The interview you is gone. Your job is gone. You have your job, but the interview you is gone. So when the battle in the morning time is just that. It's that you wake up in the morning time and you own all this stuff. Because once you leave your house, the world then gets at you. Those days when I'm tired or worn out or just basically sick of the grind. What do I do on those days? I go anyways. I get it done even if I'm just going through the motions. I go through the motions. I don't really want to work out. I work out. I I really don't want to hammer on a project. I hammer on the project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed. Yeah, I get up and get out of bed. Now, these could be signals that you need some time off. And those signals might be right. They could be correct. But don't take today off. Not today. Wait until tomorrow. Don't don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen to that little voice. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights, sprint the hill, work on the project, get out of bed. Get off your ass and get out there and sell something. No, work your face off and don't buy dumb sh**. As an overall rule, I do not like procrastination. You need to get things done. But if you are going to rest, that is one thing that you should procrastinate on. That's the one thing I want you to put off until tomorrow. And if when tomorrow comes, you still feel like you need to rest or you need to take a break, then okay. Take it. But the chances are you won't. You won't need that rest. Chances are you will realize that the desire to rest was just weakness. It was just the desire to take the path of least resistance, the downhill path, the easy path. And by simply going through the motions, you overcame that path. And you stayed on the righteous path, the discipline path. You stayed on the war path. Just ask yourself this week, do people know you for your work ethic? Are people, are people like, man, you work hard? Are people actually commenting about you showing up early and staying late? Because if they're not, then you're just, you're just blending in with everybody else's work ethic. At the end of the day, talent will not win the game. It is work ethic that will win the game. Look up, get up, 
and don't ever give up. You tell everyone or anyone that has ever doubted, thought they did not measure up, or wanted to quit. You tell them to look up, get up, and don't ever give up.